What's up YouTubers, Mr McRaven here back again with another Borderlands 2 uh, episode and today I'm going to be going over the basics of uh, shields uh, within Borderlands 2. So if you're fairly uh, used to Borderlands 2 you'll pretty much know how all the shields work and this video might not be for you. However if you're beginning in Borderlands 2 and you're trying to understand um, how the different types of shield work and what they all mean uh, then I'm going to go through some of the basics uh, of uh, different shield types and what some of those numbers uh, actually mean. Unfortunately I don't have any simple shields to show you so most of the shields I'm going to show you are special or very rare shields that you can get hold of within Borderlands 2 but the, the principles behind the numbers uh, should all pretty much be uh, the same. So we're going to firstly we're going to take a look at this one here which is the, uh, the Deadly Bloom now again, like I said, this is a rare and special shield and can be acquired through uh, certain missions or enemies within the game. So we're going to take a look at the uh, the basics here and up the top here we have capacity at 137,210. Now the capacity means that's how much damage that you can take before uh, the shield gets completely deplete depleted. Uh, underneath that you have the recharge rate and recharge uh, delay and those two are tied uh, into each other. So uh, the recharge delay actually uh, is in terms of seconds. So the recharge delay means you have to wait 4.2 uh, seconds. So let's say, for example, the enemy shoots us. They take away all the 137,000 uh, capacity down and I've got no shields left. Uh, I have to wait 4.2 seconds before the shield will start to recharge. Now when it does recharge, the recharge rate uh, at 49,000 means it's going to be recharging at 49,000 points uh, per second. So the, the shield isn't going to take that long. It's going to take about three seconds before the shield's back up again uh, and back to full uh, capacity. So it's worth paying attention when you're deciding which shield to pick uh, that you find when you're looting the enemies. Um, the recharge rate and recharge delay are worth uh, noting because if it has a long recharge delay then you're going to be waiting a while uh, before your shield gets back up again and uh, you don't really want too huge a delay uh, on your shield otherwise uh, they're going to be starting to knock your health down uh, which goes a lot quicker uh, than a shield does. So that's how that system works, that's how the capacity recharge rate and recharge delay and you want to weigh them all in together. A high capacity shield doesn't necessarily always indicate that it's a good shield so do bear in mind the recharge rate and uh, delay. Now this shield in uh, particular has a special uh, ability and it's called Nova damage and uh, the red text underneath you can see what do you mean theoretically releases an explosive Nova blast when shields or health are depleted. Now this is a special shield so it's replying it to both the shield and the health uh, but most Nova shields it'll only apply uh, to the, uh, the shield depletion uh, on its own. So let's say the enemy has shot you, they've depleted your shield as soon as your shield becomes depleted it's going to put out an explosive blast in a circle all around it. It's going to explode and it's going to cause 248,279 damage at a radius of 1052. Now obviously the higher the radius uh, the more likely it is that you're actually going to hit uh, an enemy uh, that is around you. But it's a little bonus and it's better than a standard shield uh, using Nova Shield and there's actually a, a very specific Nova Shield which I might show you uh, a little bit later that I really uh, like. But that's what a Nova means, a Nova Shield is going to cause uh, damage when the shield is depleted. Okay moving on we're going to take a quick look at this one, this one's another special shield, uh, it's a Seraph Shield and it's known as the Hoplite uh, but uh, these are otherwise known in the game as a Turtle Shield. Now what turtle shields do is they will offer you really high capacity but in exchange they will take away your health and uh, quite often some of them will also uh, reduce your movement speed uh, as well. In particular in this shield it says Alonomir soldier together an unstoppable phalanx. Now a phalanx is uh, what the Greeks and Trojans used to use in order to move troops together. They used to use the shields uh, in a big uh, dome shape to stop being hit by the enemy uh, arrows. So that's what a phalanx is, in case you didn't know. Uh, capacity increased by 20% for each hoplite equipped in the party, so the more people that wear this, the higher the capacity of your own shield. Uh, movement speed decreased for each hoplite in a party. So again, because it's a turtle shield, uh, the movement is lost, and it says high capacity reduces max health. So turtle shields, you get uh, high capacity uh, but in return you'll also lose health and uh, movement speed. So that's uh, pretty much covering the uh, turtle shields there. 
Now this uh, shield, the Grounded Hide of Terramorphus, which you can acquire from killing Terramorphus, the Invincible, uh, is an all-in-one kind of shield. It has the best of a lot of welds, and uh, it has a reasonable capacity, recharge rate, and delay. And you can see there it has uh, roid damage, and there is another roid shield, uh, which I will show you later on. But what roid damage does is that when you perform a melee attack, uh, it's going to cause... Uh, it's going to add that 211,000 to whatever melee damage uh, you cause. So that's basically what a roid shield does. It adds damage to uh, your melee attack uh, once, the, once the shield is depleted. As you can read below, it says when depleted, melee attacks deal additional bonus roid damage. So that's what a roid shield does. Uh, we've already covered the nova damage, but this shield causes a nova damage as well. And uh, right at the bottom there you see the spike damage. Now you can get spike shields on their own. And most usually you will find a spike shield on their own. And what that means is when an enemy tries to melee attack you, uh, the shield is going to cause damage to them because they melee attacked you. And it's going to do uh, whatever damage it states uh, to that enemy when they melee attack you there. So spike shields can be quite nice if you if you find yourself being uh, attacked by a lot of enemies and they're uh, trying to stab you uh, in the back. Now you might notice on the shield it also says grants immunity to uh, electrocution. Now this can happen with uh, pretty much almost any shield. You can see this one here, grants immunity to burn damage. So any shield can have uh, an ability to give you immunity to certain types of damage, whether that be corrosive, uh, electric, fire, or I'm not even sure if they do a slag one. I can't remember. But so you can get uh, fire damage, electrocute, and uh, corrode and even explosive damage uh, as well. Now this is quite a popular and uh, well-known shield within the game, Inflammable the Bee, otherwise known as just uh, the Bee, but this is a, a, a immunity to burn damage version, so it has the inflammable prefix. Uh, floats like a butterfly. When fully charged, next weapon shot deals bonus amp damage. Now on most amp shields, um, when your shield reaches back to full capacity, the first shot you fire will then add uh, whatever amp damage it states. In the case of the B, uh, there's no amp shot drain, so basically every shot you fire is going to cause uh, the base uh, damage of your gun plus 179,000. So the B is a really powerful uh, shield for dropping enemies like flies because it adds a, uh, a ton of damage. But in the case of most amp shields where it states an amp damage, it means that once it's fully charged, the next shot from your gun is going to cause the gun's damage plus uh, whatever the amp damage it uh, it states. So moving on, I'm going to show you this shield uh, quickly. The black hole. This is one of my favourite Nova shields, and you can get this uh, from killing uh, the foreman in opportunity after com after completing the Moxie quest. And it's a superb shield. I use this uh, a lot with my siren. And this is a Nova shield, and it says you are the centre of the universe. Uh, black hole. Now what happens when this shield is depleted it actually sucks in the enemy, pulls them all towards you and then it explodes with a Nova damage and uh, that's really cool and it helps you quite a lot uh, get out of any second wind situation so it's a superb shield uh, for that so uh, not all Nova shields are the same but this one is uh, certainly a super, superb one uh, to use now here we're going to take a quick look at uh, something called the Love Thumper. Has quite a good uh, capacity there. The recharge delay is quite. Uh, the recharge rate is uh, quite low, at uh, 10,000, and the recharge delay is 216 seconds, uh, 0.86. And you're thinking, well, why would you want to use this shield with such a high recharge delay? And the reason is the amount of roid damage it gives you. If thumping you is wrong, I don't want to be right. When depleted. Melee attacks deal bonus roid damage. In this case, and this only applies to this shield, not every roid shield. In this case, once it's depleted, every single time you hit them with a melee attack, you're going to be doing an additional 59,000 damage. So until it recharges fully again, for about, what, four minutes, I think? Until it fully recharges, you're going to be doing additional 59,000 damage with melee attacks. So if you're an assassin, this is definitely one of the shields you want to get. Uh, if you like going up and slashing and slapping enemies to death uh, because you're getting constant roid damage for about four minutes I think whatever that is in seconds I'm not going to do the math on that uh, but uh, roid shields that's generally uh, what they do they'll apply uh, melee damage but this is probably one of the best roid shields you can get in the game uh, the love thumper I don't think I actually have 
spike shield. I don't have a spike shield on its own. But I did explain to you uh, what happens with spike. If the uh, enemy is causing you melee damage, then uh, it's going to add spike damage there. Now, this is uh, another rare shield that uh, you can get from the Hammerlock DLC. It's called the Rough Rider. And uh, this one's really based more on uh, your skill tree. Some things in your skill tree will say when your shields are depleted, you get this bonus. And this is what this shield is for. It, is it removes the capacity so that your shield is permanently depleted. So you're always going to be getting the bonuses uh, that you get from adding those aspects of your skill tree. Uh, plus you get damage uh, resistant 20% uh, increases resistance to all damage types 20% uh, so it's going to reduce the damage anyway so that's quite good and it buffs up uh, your uh, maximum health and it says it takes more than a, that to kill a bull moose increases max health there we go. So that's what the, uh, the Rough Rider shield looks like there but it's very uh, skill tree build specific and uh, this one's a, a special rare shield. Uh, to get as well. So hopefully I've pretty much covered what most of the shields uh, do in the game. I hope this little video has proven helpful. If it has, click like, uh, subscribe for uh, more videos. I'll certainly be doing more videos in uh, the future. Check out the other videos I already have. Uh, but until then, take care and uh, have fun uh, in the game. Bye-bye for now.